Hello, in this video we're going to discuss about uh, partial fraction types 3 all right, uh, which uh, the denominator has a quadratic factor uh, that cannot be factorized or we say it cannot factorize into uh, real factors. All right, for example, uh, I, have, I have introduced you some quadratic, uh, if you x squared minus 1, uh, this is a you can factorize into x plus 1, uh, x minus 1, x plus 1. This is a real factors, right? Uh, factors which you can factorize into two linear factors, right? Two linear factors. But for x squared plus 1, you know that it won't have real roots here. It will not have real roots. So, uh, or I can say that the b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, right? Because why this is x squared plus with 0x plus 1, right? Where your a is 1, right? a is 1, your b is 0, and your c is 1. So if you use the discriminant to verify the roots, the types of roots of these quadratic uh, factors here, it will be have uh, 0 square minus with 1 and 1 here. You will have negative 4. Negative 4 is a negative number, right? So if you, you for your knowledge, from your additional maths, right? If something, the discriminant is less than zero. Uh, so we can say that this will have well, no real roots, right? Uh, you have no real roots. If you know real roots, you cannot factorize this into two real factors. Uh, means that you have real number here, all right? So means that this is a quadratic factor that cannot be, that ca categorized as cannot be factorized. Oh, okay, for example, x squared plus x plus 1, right? Uh, x squared plus x plus 1. So you have a equals to 1, uh, a equals to 1, b equals to 1, c equals to 1. So, so a, b, c, right? a, b, c. So you have b squared minus 4ac. Let's check it up. So b squared, so you have 1 square, right? 1 square minus with 4, a, a is 1. And C is also 1. So this will be 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. Ah, negative 3. So it's less than 0. Which this one you cannot factorize into two bracket. Ah, you can factorize into two bracket, but it is not a real factor. Alright, it's not a real factor. So or you by using calculator, right? You can use calculator and you can check that. Uh, for example, you can using if you don't trust me, you can use in calculator. Uh, you go to the this one a the equation here. So you're choosing a. All right, where is a? Yeah? So a is here, right? So you're choosing the polynomial. Polynomial, you choose two, right? So you select uh, two to four because this is degree two, right? Uh, degree two. So you're choosing two. Uh, so you're choosing two. So you have uh, key in order one. 1, 1, 1. So, 1 equal, 1 equal, 1 equal, and 0 equal, right? Uh, so, you have uh, negative 1. Can you see that? There is an I here. You have learned complex number, right? Complex number is not a real number, right? Uh, so, this is a complex number. So, if you look at the second row, uh, so you have, sorry, uh, so you have complex number, you have two roots. Uh, you have two roots, one, but it's a real, it's a uh, complex root, right? So, if you have complex root, you cannot write into two real factors. Uh, means you cannot like this, you have uh, one, negative one, it will be have i here, right? So, means we categorize this as something that quadratic factors, it's a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. Uh, so, this is the case, uh, uh, so I hope you understand. So let's see what what is the impact uh, upper kesannya for this type of factors is in the denominator for the rational functions here. All right. Okay. Let uh, let's continue with an, an example. All right. Uh, before we want to count the value of a, b, and c. All right. Just like the previous video, we talk about these few examples here. Right. Uh, so I'm going to uh, introduce you the suitable form of partial fraction for these four partial fractions. So look at this one. Right, uh, I have discussed just now, x squared plus 1 is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized into two linear factors. So if this case happened, so I have to write back here because you cannot factorize, I have to write it back x squared plus 1 plus with 
x minus 1. Alright? Uh, so, for this case, if this is a quadratic factor, if this is a quadratic factor, power of 2, then on top here, it has to be a linear factor. Uh, it has to be ax plus b. You cannot put in a. Alright? Uh, this is a linear factor, right? It's a linear factor, so you're putting c, right? a, b, c. Uh, that's all. Okay, not very understand. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this. So, what is the suitable partial fraction for this? So, I have tell you just now, the b square minus 4 is, or you can use in calculator, using calculator, just key in. If you're getting an i, uh, imaginary roots, means that this is a b square minus 4ac less than 0, right? I have teach you just now, this is a, you cannot factorize these quadratic factors. So, then you have to put a over with, uh, this is a linear factor, it's okay, x plus 3. So, plus, because of this one cannot be factorized into two linear factors, cannot be factorized. So, I have to write it, I have to write these quadratic factors as a quadratic factors. So, of course, I have to add a bx plus c here. If this is a quadratic, this must be a linear factor. Uh, a, b, c, b, x plus c. Can you see that? b, x plus c, a, x plus b. So, as long as this is a quadratic factor, this must be a linear Factors. Okay, if you're not very understand, let's look at this one. Okay, we check at the, the denominator. This is a linear factor. Linear factor is okay. Let's look at this one. Is it can be factorized or not? You can use in calculator. You key in everything here. You try to solve, try to factorize. You are getting an i. The i here is imaginary roots. So, or you can using a more pro way. Uh, this is more pro. This is because you have the knowledge of all this, right? So, you have to apply. So, b square. So, what's your b? 3, right? 3 square minus 4. A. Your A. C. 4. So, if you 9 minus with uh, 4, 4, 16. 32, right? Uh, 9 minus 32, right? So, 9 minus 32, you have uh, negative 23, right? If I'm not mistake, uh, mistaken. So, it's a negative number. As long as it's a negative number, means that the discriminant B square minus 4AC have have already tell you that this is a quadratic that cannot be factorized to uh, two bracket. You cannot be factorized. So if this thing happen, so you are confirmed. Uh, you have already confirmed that this is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So you have to rewrite this. Uh, uh, this is a linear factor, right? So a over x is okay. So linear factor uh, b over 2x minus 5. This one leaves me no choice because cannot be factorized. So I have to write as 2x power of 2 plus 3x plus 4 because I cannot be factorized. So I have to leave it in quadratic factor. But if this is a quadratic factor, then I have to put cx plus d. Uh, take turn a, b, c, x plus d. Must. Okay? It's a must. It's a partial fraction for this uh, for this uh, rational function here. Let, let, let's look at this. Oh, you have two quadratic factors. Let's see. Uh, this one. This one also cannot be factorized. If you check x squared plus 4. Except if this is x squared minus 4. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, so this one, your a is 1. Your b is 1. Your c is 2. Right? Uh, if you're using b squared minus 4. a, c. You will have 1 square minus 4. A, C. You have negative 7, less than 0. So this is also something that cannot be factorized. Cannot be factorized. Uh, so your partial fraction will be over with x squared plus 4, x squared plus x plus 2. You have no choice. So you have to leave it in these two quadratic factors. So of course here, if this is a quadratic factor, this one will be a linear factor, Ax plus B. And this one will be Cx plus D. Right? I hope you understand what I mean. So, this will be the suitable form to represent this partial fraction for this rational function. Alright, in the same video here, I'm going to teach you how to find the value of A, B, and D if this uh, is uh, type 3 uh, partial fractions. Alright, let's continue with these examples. So, alright. As you know that I have introduced you how to verify that, how to know that this is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So I have you teaching you to using the calculator. If you key in this one, you are getting I, right? You are getting I. So I have to show you again. So, uh, alright. 
let's say by using calculator right by using calculator so uh, so you know that okay I, I, will, I will do it again for you so first you look at the mode here you're pressing mode uh, then you're pressing this button here going down going down again then you will see there is a x y zero this is an equation anything related to equation you're choosing this uh, so uh, a so the first one simultaneous equation this is nothing to do with simultaneous equation we are one want to factorize the quadratic here right so we're choosing a polynomial uh, so degree two is up to four so it's this case is two so what's your a your a is one right your b is negative one your c is one so one equal negative one equal one equal then finally you key in uh, zero equal so then equal you will have uh all right okay let's do it again so i think i key in wrongly so one equal negative one equal one equal so you have uh this is your roots if you key in again okay let's see yeah uh, so you key in again you have one equal negative one equal one equal okay just key in and pressing equal then you have uh you see that I right and you have I here so it's the imaginary roots so imaginary roots cannot be factorized into real factors so all you can using this method uh, which is more professional calculator if, if without calculator you can using B square minus 4ac right uh, you not always need to test this one this is for your knowledge right uh, if you can do it mentally uh, if you want so 4 negative 1 square minus 4 your B is 1 your C is 1 so have 1 minus 4 you have negative 3 this is negative less than 0 so it means that this one cannot be factorized further into a real factors right uh, if this happened to be the case so of course the types of partial fraction will be different so let's look at this uh, you will have x plus 2 so a over x plus 2 this is a linear factors right linear factors but this is a quadratic factors that cannot be factorized uh, that's the case here so x square minus x plus 1 so then you have to add here cannot be b this is wrong uh, this is wrong so you have to write it as bx plus c if this is a quadratic factors bx plus c so this will be correct so now again uh, this is the form right this is type 3 but the way you carry out to find the value of a b and c is still the same all right it's still the same so let's look at this uh. so uh, I know that I have to recombine these two fraction by multiply x plus 2 with x square minus 1 so x plus 2 with x square minus x plus 1 right uh, so of course the a if you x plus 2 you multiply with x square minus x plus 1 so a also you have to multiply with x square minus x plus 1 you already have x plus 2 so you need this on the denominator you multiply both by this one and for this x square minus x plus 1 right you already have this one so you need x plus 2 uh, up and down so don't forget to put a bracket for this ah, so don't forget to put a bracket you have to remember is everything multiply with x plus 2 this is a common mistake where student not putting the bracket here all right uh, it's very wrong so you have to put a bracket is everything multiplied with x plus 2 okay now done the denominator already the same you're comparing uh, same thing always use comparing by comparing the numerator right by comparing the numerator so means that the 3x plus 4 will be equals to a x power of 2 minus x plus 1 plus with b x plus c x plus 2 uh, here i'm going to introduce you another method all right uh, another method so you can learn method by substituting substitute or you want to using uh, comparing the coefficient all right comparing coefficient i haven't teach you i haven't teach you in the previous two videos so in this video i'm going to introduce you another method here so that you have variety right you have variety so you see you look at it uh, you look at this equation so at first you substitute because you can make this become zero you want to find a if you want to find a of course 
f of course the best is you make this two become zero this becomes zero then you can find the a easily right so for here you see x plus two ah x plus two if you put negative two here hello if you put negative two here negative two plus two zero right the whole thing will become zero so the first thing i will do will be i finding the a by substitute uh, by substitute x equals to negative two right okay substitute negative two into uh, this equation here uh, this put it as an asterisk okay so then you substitute with 3 negative 2 plus 4 equals to a negative 2 square negative 2 plus 1 here negative 2 plus 2 0 right uh, so then you have uh, 3 times negative 2 negative 6 right plus 4 you have negative 2 uh, so a you have 4 here 4 plus 4 plus 1 right 4 plus oh sorry you tend to do careless mistake when you apply this thing huh? 4 plus 2 plus 1 4 plus 2 plus 1 you have 7 right so then you have a equals to negative 2 over 7 right if you check again so 3 times negative 2 negative 6 negative 6 plus 4 you have negative 2 4 right 4 negative 2 square 4 so negative, negative 2, we have positive 2. So 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, right? So I confirm A is negative 2 over 7. So this is by using substitution. So I'm going to introduce another method here. I'm doing comparing. Or you can use a method where you can substitute 0. Okay, maybe I can substitute 0. Or I can, never mind. We, 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 we try. We, I, I, in the previous video, I have, I have said that uh, I can substitute x equals to 0. Why I substitute zero? Because I have no choice. I this no matter what this one will, will, will not be zero. You put putting because this is not this cannot be factorized. Dia tak boleh de facto kan? If this cannot be factorized, it won't have roots. Won't have roots means it won't become zero, right? So you don't need to try. For sure, it no, won't be zero. So I substitute x equals zero, choosing any number. Okay, zero. So I put in here. So I have three times with zero plus with 4a uh, 0 square uh, 0 square minus 0 plus 1 plus b times with 0 plus c 0 plus 2 it's helped a lot it's really helped a lot you see uh, you put you're getting 4 here right 4 here so you're getting uh, 1a so it's a here right so b times 0 yes this is what uh, b times 0 0 right no more b no b you can find c so 0 here so you have C, right? This here you have C, here you have 2. So you have 2C. Beautiful. So then you're putting your A here. Then you can find the C easily, right? So which is 4 equals to A, negative 2 over 7, plus with 2C. So then you know that 2C is 4 plus with 2 over 7, right? Uh, so you calculate. Uh, so you have uh, 4, 7, 28, right? 28 plus 2, 30 over 7, right? 30 over 7, 2C. So you have C equals to, from here, C equals to 30 divided by 2, we have 15 over 7. Jang, 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 you have your C, right? By substitute 0, sir, Susan said, sir, can I choosing X equals to 1? Yes, okay. But if you're choosing 1 here, the B, Will not, will not be eliminate right uh, so I choose zero okay I try first I try I choose zero so later I have done for A for C but the B uh, so now I don't substitute I using comparing the coefficient okay let's see uh, I'm going to introduce a method here comparing so what is the coefficient for X here apakah perkali bagi X di sini uh, Comparing. Okay, I can apply by comparing. Uh, comparing the coefficient of x to the power of 2. Sir, can you comparing the coefficient for x or not? Can. Sir, can you comparing the constant or not? Can. Anything. Alright. So, you know that. Do you have x square here? Yes, you have. 
which is 0 x squared, right? That's why 0 and x squared don't have, right? But you know that the x squared here is 0, the coefficient is 0, right? So it's 0 on the left-hand side, right? And how about here? Ah, you see, ah? ax squared, negative ax, tak berkaitan, tak berkaitan. So ax squared, so in front of x squared here is a, right? So you write a here, right? You write a here. So how about this? Uh, how about this one? If you expand, if you expand, imagine, imagine in your mind. So expand, you have bx squared, right? You have bx squared, 2bx, uh, 2bx plus with cx plus with 2c. This all is not related to x squared. I talked about coefficient of x squared, right? So the coefficient of x squared here is b, right? x squared is b. So you know that plus b, uh, here you have ax squared plus bx squared. So of course, a plus b must be 0, right? Uh, very easy. So now you know that you can find b because b is a negative of a, right? It's a negative of a. So what's your a? Negative 2 over 7 multiplied with negative. So you have 2 over 7, right? Finally, you have your b. You have your A, you have your C. So, making conclusion, therefore, so uh, 3x plus 4 divided by x plus 2, x squared minus x plus 1 is equals to, be careful, because there is a fraction here, your A is 2 or negative 2 over 7, right? So then you have negative 2 over 7 x plus 2, right? Uh, plus with b x. So your b is 2 over 7, right? Your b is 2 over 7 x. Your c, c is 15 over 7, right? Plus with 15 over 7, 2 over 7, 15 over 7 over with x square minus x plus 1. This is not nice, right? Because over 7, this is also over 7. Uh, let's look at this one. If you have 2x over... Uh, this all is about factorizing. Uh, 2 over 7 plus 15 over 7. 1 over 7, you can take out the 1 over 7, right? To be 2x plus 15, right? You can 7, 7, take out the 1 over 7 here. So, that means that you have... 7x plus 2 Then you factorize the 1 over 7 You have 1 over 7 Which I put the 7 With the denominator x square minus x plus 1 And here you have 2x plus 15 ah, I have decomposed Write this into its partial fraction Can you see that? This is the partial fraction For this uh, Rational polynomial function With quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. Alright, so uh, I hope you understand about this video.